Hi, Jason. Uh, my name is Nicole. I'm a physiotherapist. I work at the Physio Crew and um, I've got 11 years worth of physiotherapy experience, just so you've got a bit of um, background on me. Treated lots and lots of people with back pain. Now, it's really important to remember that your MRI scan doesn't indicate where your pain is coming from. And this can be a really weird thing to try and explain. But lots of people have um, findings on an MRI that don't correlate with their back pain. So the fact that your back pain started after a road traffic accident, that would be um, straight away if you're coming into my clinic I'd be thinking okay what um, what central nervous system things could be at play here so is there any sensitivity of the spinal cord and the brain and the reason that we have to identify that is that movement can be the best treatment for that and it might not be um, that you found the right movement to help with that at the moment normally they're not going to do any kind of surgery for that type of issue and you're probably sat there thinking well I've got this MRI but actually I just want my pain to go and sometimes this is where a lot of people are left is that they're they're sat at home unable to put their socks on pain all the time taking high level pain meds and the surgeon says to them well the MRI is you know there's some findings on it but we can't do any surgery and people at that point they just think oh my gosh how am I going to cope with this pain for the rest of my life I can't cope with it um, now it's important rem to remember that pain is a subjective thing people feel it differently and it can change from moment to moment and this can leave people feeling like people don't believe them because they might get up in the morning and feel okay but then they try and put their socks on they can't put their socks on and someone might see them get up from a chair and see that they can get up okay but then when the person is then trying to sit down a different time in the day it's really painful to do it and this can make people feel that they're not being believed and the reason that pain is is subjective is that the pain is um, the, the brain is constantly releasing hormones um, and our own endogenous pain relieving things in our brain so for example if I was to be walking across a road and I fall over and I break my leg my brain has to make a decision in that moment if a car is coming it has to decide do I think about the pain of the broken leg or do I think about the car that's about to hit me your brain would be flooded with pain relief to in that you have within your own brain to get you to the other side of the road it might really hurt when you get there but it's it's decided in that moment that it needs to ignore the the leg um, pain to get you to the other side of the road why is this relevant for you well if we are fearful or worried our own natural pain relieving systems get hampered we can't use those anymore the brain protects it because it's going into a fight or flight response and the way that you can tell if you're in a fight or flight is if you start doing things like trying to use your hand to stand up before you've even got pain so you might be anticipating getting up from a chair and you're reaching to hold on to something or when you go to sit down you hold on to your legs or you you're kind of tensing and I want you to think about your back like a um, an earthquake building. So the ones that survive are not the ones that are rigid. This is what we see when people are in pain. They hold themselves rigid and still. And what we need is people that move. If you watch people who have no pain, they'll move in fluid movements. And earthquake buildings that survive are not the ones that are rigid they're the ones that can move and dissipate load and a lot of this comes down to this kind of myth that we've been teaching people for years and years of core stability back pain is not caused by a weak core now a lot of you are going to be listening to that going what is this girl talking about back pain is not caused by a weak core your muscles can get weaker if you are um, if you have pain because that happens with any muscle in the body if it's painful you don't use it so therefore it gets weaker and I want you to really start thinking about your pain in a different way because so often people are left feeling like no one believes them feeling frustrated and their pain isn't getting better and they're basing everything that they know on these MRIs and MRIs are only useful really if you have um, pain that's going down into the leg and it's only really useful to confirm a diagnosis based on your symptoms or if you have any red flags so if they are worried that there could be something sinister because this is what people worry about they're like how could I have such severe pain and it not be caused by something more sinister in nature and I, I know that because I had a stuck back I got um, I remember the moment that I literally I lifted my foot and I'm a physio I knew what was happening I lifted my foot I got stuck and it was the worst pain that I've ever felt. And I've had a baby. So it was absolutely hideous. My whole body went sweaty. I, I just could not move. And I was stuck there for about 45 minutes. Luckily, I knew not to get on the floor. Don't get on the floor. Try and get onto a bed if you, um, because if you get onto the floor, you won't get back up again. Now I knew in that moment, I hadn't done anything 
I hadn't damaged my back because all I'd done was lift my foot up. I couldn't, you know, I hadn't fallen from a building. I hadn't um, done anything where I could have injured my spinal cord. It was just lifting my foot. I knew it was a very, very severe muscle spasm, but that didn't change the level of pain that I experienced. And I completely understand why people call ambulances because it was very sore. So I want you to not give up hope because I know you've had this pain for 10 years and, and I'm seeing patients all the time who are coming in and are saying, I've seen the surgeon, I'm disappointed, um, the, my MRI shows this, and it's about reframing and helping to educate you and helping to point you to the right resources so that you can learn and resolve your pain um, with the help of probably a physio or, um, or a specialist. But I would be saying if they haven't offered you surgery, it means that surgery is not necessarily going to help. It's not because they're mean and they don't want you to have surgery. It's because surgery probably isn't going to be effective. Who wants to have spinal surgery with massive risks associated to it if it's not going to be effective? They're not doing it to be difficult. They're doing it because research shows that in that subgroup of people, it hasn't helped. So seek to find the bits of evidence of things that have helped. And that is learning about your back, understanding when MRIs are helpful and when they're not, and really understanding about how you learn to move. And you're probably sat there at the moment going, oh, I really wish I could move, but I'm in so much pain, I can't do that. I, I have seen so many patients in that position and I promise you there is a way forward even to improve it. I'm not saying you're gonna get rid of your pain, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be magic miracles, but if we can get you to a level that you can rewrite your story, this is, this is the physio crew tagline, we help people rewrite their story following sports injuries and life-changing trauma and that's what you need to do you need to rewrite your story and find ways to be able to live the life that you want to so i hope that's been helpful um, anyone has any other questions please um, send me a direct message um, hashtag ask nicole just to let you know because um I do these questions for lots of people across all the social media. So I want to make sure that everyone gets to benefit. So if you put a hashtag ask Nicole and you ask me a question, I don't send them back individually. It goes out on my social media so that everyone can benefit and everyone can learn. Because guess what? A lot of these questions are the same because you are not alone. There are lots of people with back pain. 80% of the population will get non-specific lower back pain. That's pain that's in their back, not going into their legs. 80% of the population. So it's a big, big problem and it's much my goal to try and help you guys with it so sorry you've got a bit of a Nicole rant this evening um, but I hope you keep safe and you're well with all of this um, crazy COVID stuff going on and um, Jason good luck in your recovery bye now